video is brought to you by our future sponsor. We'll get them. Just wait. Mmm. All right, so what's up, everybody? This episode, we're going to be talking about different ways to start investing using only your cell phone. And these are some of the simplest ways. There's tons of different applications out there, tons of different investments. I'm going to share with you the ones that have made it the easiest for me when I got started. Now, uh, just as a forewarning, I'm not an investment pro. I don't have millions and millions of dollars in my investment portfolio. And honestly, for each one of these apps, you'll probably want to do extra research to learn a little bit more about their fees and just how they work and everything like that, just to make sure you're doing the right thing. Personally, I think you should try a little bit of everything, get a good variety, and also just get experience trying different applications. So the very first one I'm going to start with is Acorns. This is actually one of my favorite apps because not only does this app allow you to start investing, but all of these apps are going to allow you to easily withdraw money if you need, which is different than doing something like retirement saving through your job, which you should probably do that as well. But the thing with that is you probably are going to leave that there until you're like ancient. If you invest and you realize you want the money back to buy something or you have some expenses you need or you want to start a business, you can do that. Ideally, you keep it in for as long as possible because time is your friend when it comes to investments, but it certainly doesn't hurt knowing that you can get the money if you need. So for, for example, Acorns, I can withdraw, it takes two or three days, and it'll go straight to my bank account. So that way my money is not tied up for the rest of my life. So there's a couple cool things about Acorns. One is this investment app is ideal if you don't want to actively think about investment and you just want to add a little bit of money into your investment portfolio without even having to think about it. So the way it works is let's say you buy something and this thing costs 75 cents. Well, what Acorns will do is it'll round that up to a dollar essentially and invest that 25 cents. So it'll basically finish every dollar you're spending and put that into your investment portfolio. There's also different deals on here. So if you want to go in here and figure out different ways to earn money. So for example, I've earned $10 just by signing up for one of these applications. I didn't have to spend anything. Some of these you will have to spend. So sort of like cashback rewards or bonus points <laughs> if you go shop at certain stores. For example, if you sign up with AT&T, you'll get $35 invested. And there's actually a ton of different things on here. So you might find that some of the things you're doing already, you can make extra money using this application. Going back to the homepage, you can see your portfolio in here and you can see that my portfolio status is aggressive. You can change this and ultimately I chose aggressive because I'm super young. I don't really care about the risk. I think I have a lot of time to take on that risk. I have a pretty high risk tolerance. If you feel that your risk tolerance is lower, you can certainly lower that and you can go in here and you can read about it. You can see as you select the different distributions change. So for aggressive, you can see the largest one on here is US large company stocks. Then we have US small company stocks and international large company stocks, uh, emerging stocks, and then real estate. If we go down to conservative, you can see that all of these on here are bonds, which are going to give you less returns, but have supposedly lower risk. Maybe you want something in the middle, such as moderate, where you're going to get three bond sections and then three stock sections. I'm going to stick with aggressive, but what you choose is totally up to you. Now, if you want to sign up for any of these apps, I would appreciate it if you guys use the link in the description, because these will probably be affiliate links where if you sign up, I'll get a kickback and you probably get a bonus as well. So it works out best for both of us. So the next thing I wanted to show you in here is the roundups. And this is what I was talking about, where it's basically going to round up your expenses. Um, just go in here. In the example of Papa John's, I spent $23.63 and it invested 37 cents. I didn't even notice that money. And I don't have a huge portfolio here, but I have built $126.98 without even noticing any of my money disappear. Now, if you're someone who's really strict on budgeting and everything has to be perfect, this might not be the best app for you because it's hard to predict how much you're going to be investing each month, but you can also use one-time expenses uh, you can go in here and put the amount and you can invest it. And I think you can go in here and uh, do it on a recurring basis. So if we go in here, you can select make recurring. No, I don't want to rate you. So in this situation, it says your monthly $5 recurring investment is set. And that allows you to grow your oak, which is kind of thing like acorns, grows into a tree, so forth. Last thing I want to show you on here is that you can go to potential. And this allows you to do some predictions. 
So this will allow you to drag through here and see what it could be at a particular age. And you can select change your potential if you want to see what it can become by changing your investments. So it's a great way to kind of visualize your future. Now for the cost for this, I believe it costs a dollar a month. So you'll probably wanna make sure your portfolio is large enough to grow more than that. Um, otherwise it's going to eat into a lot of your growth. So you probably wanna have 500 plus dollars in here at least, but it, it certainly doesn't hurt to just get started uh, and eventually you'll get there. Like I said, I invested a hundred some without even trying. I didn't even think about it. The last thing in here is you can go in here and invite your friends and this will allow you to send out invites. <laughs> If they join by January 31st, which is today. So I don't think I'm going to be getting four signups today, but yeah, you can do this to get a little bit extra money into your portfolio. The next application I got in here is Robinhood. This is a super popular one. And when you sign up again, link in the description, you can get a free stock. So this app is different than Acorns because Acorns, they already have the portfolio set. You don't really know exactly what you're investing in with Robinhood you know exactly what you're investing in because you actually have to choose the individual company stocks such as Apple or Amazon or whatever it might be and then you buy a certain amount. So if you're more interested in being specific and buying certain company stocks, this is the app for you. So you can go in here and you can see the different companies and the cost for the stock. Lots of red ones here, but uh, Tesla seems to be green. You can go to your profile here and you can see the total value of all of your stocks. I was really into this app in college, uh, but I don't really like thinking and paying too much attention about what companies I'm investing in. So I have preferred the applications that do that all for me. So let's say you wanted to buy one of these, like let's say you were interested in Microsoft down here. So we select Microsoft. You can go in here and you can see their history and you can also make an investment. Lastly, you can go to the browse tab and you can find all kinds of different information about investing. So this is also a great way to learn and figure out what's going on in the market. So although I'm not a huge user of this app, I could see why it would be super addicting and tons of people love it. So check it out if this seems like something you'd be interested in. Now, the last one I have for you is actually a little bit different because this is for cryptocurrencies, which is a rather new investment and I would say probably the highest risk investment. So don't go into this pouring all of your cash money and then losing it all, don't do that. But in here, it works similar in the way Robinhood works and that each one of the cryptocurrencies is split out as its own thing. You can go in here and you can buy one of these uh, just by selecting trade and then buy and then you just set the amount that you wanna buy and then you make that purchase. Also, you can make recurring purchases. So if I wanted to buy $100 every single day, well, that'd be kinda of cool, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. So let's go back to the home page, and you can see for Ethereum here, you can go and see the prices over time just like we did on Robinhood. And you can see huge percentage increase over all time or <laughs> pretty much infinite increase. And that's one of the benefits with cryptocurrencies is that because they're volatile, there's a high possibility that they can go really high in price. A really strong example of this is Bitcoin um, a couple years ago. If we look at all time here, you can see there was a huge spike. Um, it's kind of hard to show you where, right, right there. And then there, there was also a crash after that. But it seems like things are going back up. So you definitely wanna be very careful if you're investing something that can go this high and this low, but it gives you a good opportunity to make some profit if you do things right. So you can leave your cryptocurrency in Coinbase or you can transfer it to a wallet, which I show you this whole process in a different video on how to buy Bitcoin, I'll uh, link to that. But with this, what you wanna do is you want to get a wallet app, such as the Coinbase wallet, and here you can transfer your funds to this wallet just so it's not left on that exchange, which is just a little bit more secure, but then you're responsible for making sure you don't lose your cryptocurrency, so just be very careful. Lastly, if you're more into the day trading stuff, I would recommend Coinbase Pro. So this is similar to Coinbase because it's owned by the same people, but this allows you to make multiple trades and do all the fancy day trading stuff. But yeah, that's my introduction, so Three different things here. One, if you want some automatic investments, just some extra spare change, use Acorns. If you wanna buy specific company stocks, try Robinhood. And if you want to get started with the cryptocurrency market, try Coinbase. So again, links will be in the description. And let me know what apps you guys like. Uh, thank you for watching. And this is probably my first investment video I've ever done. And you guys can probably tell I'm, I'm fairly new to it. So 
we'll probably go into these apps in more detail, talking about any kind of fees or, or things you need to know before getting deep into them. But for now, I'd say this is a pretty good introduction. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Come say bye to the camera. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet.